Hey everyone, it's Greg from Six Sided Discs, and this is Flight Numbers Don't Matter. Today, we're testing and comparing a dozen discs rated around 9, 5, negative 1, 2 to see how they compare. And so far in this series, we have explored a lot of different fairway drivers. The T-Bird 7502 slot, some 6 to 9 speed straight fairway drivers like the FD or Crave, and the ever popular Firebird and Thunderbird slots. And for three of those four slots, there were tons of discs available. But for some reason, there were almost no discs rated with the same numbers as a Thunderbird. And we think we may have figured out why. We think it might have something to do with how popular the 95-12 slot has become. For example, Discraft, Discmania, Dynamic Discs, MVP, and Castaplast don't have a disc in their lineup with the same numbers as a Thunderbird. Instead, they all opt for discs at 95-12. Why that is, we don't really know. But what it means is that there is effectively a much more competitive market for these discs than for discs with the same numbers as a Thunderbird. If you ask almost any player why they would throw a fairway driver instead of a distance driver, it all boils down to accuracy. So regardless of what other flight characteristics you might get from this disc, it needs to land pretty much exactly where you want it to. While Firebird and T-Bird type discs are about accurate over stability, the 95 negative 1 2 slot is probably more about straight controlled shot shaping. These discs can probably get a little bit of turn, but low speed over stability is crucial for accuracy. And because accuracy is a huge part of what makes these discs good, while we're still looking at the overall flight path just like we normally do, we now have a specific aiming point and we are trying to land all of these shots just to the right of the end of that fence around 350 feet slightly downhill. As usual, Team Six Sided Discs Caleb Thomas is throwing for us today. Spring in Ohio means that course conditions look pretty good. It's about 75 degrees. We have a steady 10 mile an hour tailwind. So expect maybe some of these flights to be a touch more overstable than you might expect. Though to adjust for that, Caleb is gonna be throwing them a little bit harder than normal. Now that we understand the why, the what, and the where, let's get started throwing. Kicking things off with the Discraft Undertaker itself. Approved by the PDGA in 2016, it's rated at 95 negative 1, 2. And the Undertaker is arguably one of the most popular and well-known discs with these flight numbers. In Z-Plastic, our Undertaker is just what you need from this slot. Overstable, but not so much that it sacrifices distance. Instead, just the amount we need for accurate placement. The perfect mix of control and distance. So that's a good baseline to get us started. Let's move on to a perhaps less well-known disc, the Lone Star Wrangler. Also rated at 95 negative 1, 2, it was only approved by the PDGA in November of 2023. But it has a completely different shape and feel to the Undertaker. So will it fly any different? Well, not really. Caleb releases it a little bit later than The Undertaker, but the Wrangler is, as Lone Star says, overstable without being too aggressive. Now, I've mentioned this in other videos, but I'm compelled to mention it again. One of the things that I enjoy about testing and comparing discs is this kind of result. Two discs that are designed to do the same thing, but designed in completely different ways, can achieve basically the same result giving you, the player, the option to choose the one that feels right for you. Speaking of different feels but similar results, let's see if the same disc in two different plastics can achieve the same thing. It's the Infinite Discs Dynasty. We have the Infinite Discs Dynasty in two plastics, iBlend, which is an inexpensive sort of mid-grade premium plastic, and C-Blend Glow which is Infinite's version of Innova's Champion Glow Plastic. Also rated at 95 negative 1, 2, Infinite Discs leans into the control aspect of this slot, describing the Dynasty as the epitome of control and versatility. Let's see if they're right. On the left, the iBlend Dynasty flips up to flat and holds there for a while before we get that slight fade. While on the right, the C-Blend Glow Dynasty looks a lot more like that first Z Undertaker comfortably holding the line it's on, resisting flipping up, and not fading too much either. A nice, controllable flight. So the Dynasty is a solid entry into this category. If you have a slower arm and you still want that reliable accuracy, iBlend is a great option at around $14 to 
If you need a beefier version, 20 to 22 bucks for a nice glow one will get you done. Now, so far, every disc we've tested have the exact same flight numbers, 95, negative 1, 2, that we're sort of looking at for this category. But there were a lot of discs that were just on the fringe of having the exact same numbers, and we want to see how similar they are. For example, the Thought Space Construct. Rated at 10.6, negative 1, 2, the Construct is Thought Space Athletic's versatile fairway driver. Let's see how it compares to these other discs we've seen so far. Well, one of these things is not like the others. Now, ThoughtSpace's description of the construct does say that it's straight from start to finish, so maybe it's just not as torque resistant as some of these other discs, or maybe their interpretation of these flight numbers is different, but we would not put it in as a good replacement for an Undertaker. And I'm not sure if it was just the construct that we chose to test, it's 174 grams or a neutron plastic, uh, but I'm curious, for those of you that throw the construct, how does yours fly? Are they usually this understable? Leave a comment down below. Anyways, let's move on to another disc with almost the same flight numbers, the Clash Discs Cinnamon. Rated at 95, negative 1.5, 2, Clash Discs released the Cinnamon in 2023 and call it a straight to understable fairway driver. Now the flight numbers are only off by 0.5 more turn than what we've tested so far. So does that really make that much of a difference off the tee? Maybe, maybe there is a tiny bit more turn there holding flat for just a moment, but it definitely does have the advertised low speed fade. So if you're a fan of other Clash discs or you really like the feel of that steady plastic, the Cinnamon might fit this slot perfectly. Next up on the nearly the same flight numbers list is the Finish Line Rally. Rated at eight, five, negative one, two. Finish line says that while it is a straight flyer, it is also torque resistant and can handle a lot of power. So I told Caleb to give it the beans and handle it, it did. The rally was by far one of the most overstable discs that we tested in this category. So if you're the biggest, beefiest Drew Gibson-y type thrower, the rally is gonna be the disc you want for this slot. And last on the almost the same flight numbers list, we have the Latitude 64 Saint Pro. Now you might be asking yourself, Greg, why don't you just test the Latitude 64 Saint, which has the same negative one, two turn and fade. And that's a valid question. And I have a really simple answer. We didn't have one and we couldn't find one in time. So if you're dying to see how that Saint compares to some of the other discs in this category and maybe other suggestions for us to test, let us know that you want to see a part two in the comments below. Anyways, the Saint Pro is rated at 8, 5, negative 0.52 and is supposed to be a little bit more overstable and have less glide than the normal Saint. So can that match the accuracy and stability we're looking for? Well, everything's looking pretty good until that. that fence post <laughs> got in the way. The Saint Pro thrown hard and flat held that slight fade for a nice, accurate shot. And that is exactly what we're looking for, fence post or not. And that leaves us with five more discs, all five having exactly the same flight numbers. We begin with the Discmania CD1. Now this is the new reinvented CD1 approved by the PDGA in 2022 and Discmania calls it a control driver rather than a fairway driver, which is actually true of more than a few of the discs that we've tested today. And we've tested a bunch of Discmania's discs in their new C-Line plastic and we've often found them to be outrageously overstable, at least compared to their other plastic blends. So the biggest question here is whether the CD1 is actually usable amount of overstability or if it's just a meat hook. Let's find out. And it is perfect. I'm delighted to see it just hold that gentle hyzer, still getting out to around 340 feet and crucially landing exactly where we want it. So it's well done from the CD1. Let's move on to a disc that you're probably not very familiar with, the Yikun Discs B? B? Bye? B? B? Uh, according to Google Translate, it is B. So that's what we're gonna go with. Also, of course, rated at 95, negative one, two. This is one of Yikun's somewhat newer discs, approved in 2021. 
and it's also much domier than any of the other discs we've tested so far. This is also in their opaque premium plastic Dragon. Now off the tee, Caleb puts the B on a generous hyzer angle, but as you can see, it doesn't stay there long because this is one of the first discs that actually turns over and holds some of that turn before it fades back, which is not necessarily a bad thing. This makes the Yikun B probably one of the more beginner-friendly discs in this category or with these flight numbers, and it's also one of the more inexpensive discs. Yikun base plastic usually runs around eight or nine dollars retail and is going to be even more understable than this, but the Dragon plastic and Phoenix plastics are still usually only around 15, 16, 17 dollars, which is a great price for premium plastic. Next, let's take a look at another disc that perfectly fits these flight numbers, one that we actually tested in a recent video, the Dynamic Discs Escape. In our Trilogy plastic comparison, we had three different escapes to look at. Lucid, Lucid Glimmer, and Supreme. So if you want to learn more about the plastic specifically, click the link above and check out that video itself. But for today, we're just going to focus on the flight. Rated at 95 negative 12, the Escape has been one of Dynamic's most popular fairway drivers, which made it a strong candidate for their new Supreme line. However, as many of you commenters pointed out on that video, the Supreme Escape is actually a totally different mold. While it is trying to be the same mold as the Escape, they had to make a new one to utilize the new technology of the Supreme line. Of course, the big question we care about today is whether any of these three fit within the flight that we're looking for for a 95 negative 12 disc. First up, let's see Lucid Plastic. And that's a lot straighter than most of the discs that we've seen so far. What about Lucid Glimmer? And all right, so at first glance, this looks good until you realize that it blew past the 350 foot mark we had and was making its way well over 400 feet when it hit that tree. Jeez. And finally, what about the Supreme Escape? Well, as you can see, that's a lot more turn than we were looking for. And if you can listen close, you can actually hear Caleb say that he threw that with a fan grip. Fan grip on the fan grip on the. Heard it. Go in. That's under the basket. So, what if you bump that up to a power grip and really let it rip? I fell. Oh! Holy <laughs> Yikes. So the escape is not really what we're looking for in this slot. Even in Lucid Glimmer with that added over stability, it just has a tendency to glide and glide and glide a lot further than you'd really want for this slot. So let's move on to our next to last disc and see if it can be a real contender, the MVP Tesla. Rated at 95, negative one two, the Tesla is a longtime favorite of gyronauts everywhere. Ours today is in neutron plastic, and let's see how it compares to the rest of the discs we've tested today. Well, the Tesla is one of the most overstable discs we tested. It doesn't flip up at all. And in addition to that overstability, it also flew really, really far and way, way left of our target. That's not to say that it isn't a good disc for this slot, but if you have the power for it, the Tesla might fly a little bit further than you might like. Finally, let's move on to our last disc, the Castaplast Lots. And we're testing a Charlie Goodpasture Tour Series Lots from a couple years ago that is just slightly thrown, but still in great condition. Of course, sharing the same flight numbers as the Tesla, the Lots is Castaplast's workhorse fairway driver, most commonly available in K1 plastic. So how does it fly? Well, at first glance, I was a little worried because the Lots does flip up to flat almost immediately but then it holds that line before a generous low speed fade, landing pretty much exactly where we're aiming. Not bad at all. So looking back on these discs, there were a few outliers. The Thought Space Construct, the Dynamic Discs Escape, and the Yukun B were definitely a bit different. while the Wrangler and the Rally were really, really overstable. 
But overall, I am blown away by how many discs in this category fit exactly what we're looking for. In fact, it was much more than we typically see when we compare so many discs with the same flight numbers. What do you bag for this slot? Leave a comment down below. And also comment below what flight numbers we should explore next. Remember, you can find the discs that we test in our videos while supplies last at SixSidedDiscs.com and take 10% off because they're lightly used. For Six Sided Discs, I'm Greg. We'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, it's Greg from Six Sided Discs, and today, uh, oh. Rated at 10.6, negative 1.2, the construct is hip hip hip. So that's a good baseline to get us started. Let's see if some of the lesser known counterparts in this. Yeah, but he, but do. Yes. You. Yep. There we go. I fell. Oh! That's on me. Slip on that one. All right. I need a bleep on that one, Greg. <laughs> if you like this content and want to see more, please consider liking the video, subscribing to our channel, or supporting us on Patreon. Your support makes this content possible.